got some mushrooms and butter. Okay, so almost done. And now we're gonna have it on medium heat. And we're kind of just Okay, so not really my best effort, but still pretty good. I finished it off with more cheese, sriracha mayo, salt and pepper, and got coffee, so breakfast. Okay, let me quickly share my coffee table situation with you. So the couch I got, which, I mean, whatever, it's, it's a couch, but it's not as deep as I want it to be. So instead of doing like a fun like metal coffee table, I did like two of these Ottomans and they're fantastic. I'll link them below. Um, I got, they're on Overstock, but if you buy things off of Overstock.com, there's tax. If you get it off of eBay, there isn't. So super awesome. And I just keep things kind of stored under here. Not too many things, <laughs> just really random things. And then, okay, so I have this huge tray that I keep underneath. That way when I want to eat, um, I can do it without kind of ruining the ottoman. Even though it would probably hold everything, I just don't want to like have to clean it. I don't even know how to, I would clean it if it were to really actually get ruined. So, eating and gonna watch Jack Ryan. Are you guys watching Jack Ryan? I'm obsessed. Okay, so, um, Sunday afternoon, going to run some errands, did cleaning this morning, floors, how you guys do floors? So I go vacuum and then I do like the Swiffer because pet hair and then I do like a wet jet, like the Swiffer wet jet. So like dry, dry, wet, and then I just like let it be. Um, there's a better way, maybe like a steam mop, maybe I should get one of those. Anyway, okay, can you guys hear Sumo? He's barking. He always barks for like a little bit before I leave, or after I leave. Anyway, okay, so we've got coconut juice, and these are from TJ Maxx, they're milk chocolate gummy bears. I always see these there, and I'm just like, do I do I want them? Because I, I avoid them, A, because it's like not dark chocolate, but yesterday I was just like thinking, I don't know what. And the other reason I don't buy them is I was thinking it's gonna be like, a really like, they're gonna hide like a shitty gummy bear under chocolate, but in fact, it's like a nice kind of larger gummy bear. It's very soft and gummy and chewy, and then the chocolate is, I mean, sweeter than I would prefer. I also would prefer like, a lighter coating because I mean if I didn't tell you this was a gummy bear you wouldn't know it was a gummy bear so like they kind of just like haphazardly dip it in chocolate but I mean they're pretty good still so I would recommend these I want to know if they do like a sour version that would be fun or obviously I just really want like a dark chocolate one so the Archer Farms brand at Target has like the best trail mixes I think they have like just the largest variety I've seen um this is a new one for fall they do tons of seasonal ones this is the maple trail mix maple glazed almonds and peanuts cinnamon flavored pretzel balls cinnamon cookies raisins and cereal squares so we can taste test this one i've been doing good and i haven't gotten any like pumpkin things uh but i do love everything maple this smells delicious okay let's see cinnamon cookies i have like whatever It's like cinnamon cardboard, actually. Maple glazed almond. I'm into that. Maple glazed peanut. Okay. Where are the cinnamon flavored pretzel balls? Oh, those are kind of fun. And then... Is everything else flavored or no? Like a Chex cereal? Oh, I like those pretzel balls. Those are good. The cinnamon flavored ones, they have like a slight apple feel to it. Okay. All right. Let's go. I don't know. What is the plan? Oh, am I signal on? Okay. So. At Ulta, going to do returns. I'm going to share with you what's going on here. Okay, so I think a couple of vlogs ago, I shared with you guys the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I have LW2 and I have LN3. Neither are 
my shade. They're both like too light for me. And I'm pretty sure the next shade up is like significantly darker. So I don't know. I kind of like maybe I'll try it, but I feel like it's just gonna be a waste of time. So returning those. Okay, so during the 21 Days of Beauty, the Hey Honey concealer went on sale for half off. And I was like so excited because I wanted to try it. But I never tried it because I thought it was going to be too light for me because there was only one shade. So I saw that they had two shades now. Uh, a light to medium and then a deep. Okay, so the light one really is too light for me. Um, I don't like, I like matching it to my face. I don't like going lighter. And then the deep is so deep. I'm like... I couldn't even, this is like maybe a shade I would use to contour with. So I feel like if you are someone that is darker, maybe NC, I want to say like NC 50. I mean, this is very dark. I, I don't NC or NW 50. Like when I say this is deep, it's so deep. I don't know so now I'll never know if this is really that good because the light one is so light that I know that it would just look gray under my eyes but I also don't think that it's light enough for people who are actually really really pale I know it's like a weird weird one okay so we had this spinach feta pizza from Aldi that I showed you last week so I, I cooked it up okay right so now I'm gonna add probably more spinach and maybe I'll add Mushrooms guys. I had that huge thing of mushrooms. I have to like make something with it. I don't want them to go bad um, But who else does this because I feel like a lot of pizzas I buy just end up being a base for what I really want to put on it um, It's like I should just buy crusts. Well, I mean I buy cauliflower crusts a lot But sometimes when stuff like this comes along and it just looks so good already Anyway, let's just add the toppings Okay, 10 minutes later. This is how I want it to be. It's not that I need like tons of toppings on my pizza I just like having more of all the healthy toppings that are on the pizza uh, So I don't know. Hopefully we're not gonna eat the whole thing. That's not the plan and Got coffee. Oh, that looks so gross right now. You know how coffee looks really yucky sometimes anyway coffee and then Oh, this is a new cell phone case. Okay, so usually I don't like sticking the whatever they call this like a pop socket like the ring I like to be built into the phone, but, excuse me, Sumo, but ugh, this one was just so cute. It was like three bucks on eBay, and it's been holding up. I've had it on for a week, and it's been really good, so I'll link it below. They have like a Minnie Mouse one, too, but obviously, um, Hello Kitty. Also, I feel like I've become quite picky with cell phones. Like, I need it to protect the phone. I like having it being mirrored, because that way I just kind of have a mirror at all times, so if, like, I need to, like see if my lash is popping off, if there's anything in my teeth, or I want to reapply some kind of lip product. Um, it's so handy. And then, of course, I need to have this thing because I don't know. Once you have this, I don't even know how you not have it anymore. Right. Good morning. It is... I like this. I can just start parking, like towards the garage door because then we get real sunlight okay i don't know why it took me this long also now i can see if there's anyone behind me all right so monday morning i don't know okay say so. yeah i don't know do i have anything to share with you <laughs> i do not think so so he needs to get groomed. He has so much hair and it's making him look <laughs> so massive. Did I show you guys? I think I did. I vlogged like a, oh my God, this is dumb. You got people parking on both sides of the street. Oh, danger. All right. Okay, doing a crustless quiche. I already sauteed the mushrooms. We've got spinach here, whisked. Six eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of cheese. I think we're good to go. Okay, so for the rest of the mushrooms, sliced them up, sauteed them, threw in some cream of mushroom, made a cream of mushroom soup, and then we have the Trader Joe's ricotta and lemon zest ravioli that we just threw in, and now those are cooking, so mushrooms are done. No more mushrooms.
Okay, this is literally so delicious. Uh, I like, had like a taste. I'm gonna do this from now on when I get the lemon ricotta because it goes so good with the mushroom. Oh my God. And our crustless quiche is also done. So I think I should be good on food, like lunch and dinner for a few days, probably like three days. Sumo will just like sit outside. He'll just sit there. He doesn't like run around or play. It is so cute. Oh, he looks so tiny outside. He needs a haircut. <laughs> Okay, so it is Thursday, and I wanted to share the sunglasses with you that came in. Uh, last week, I shared with you guys these Goldie sunglasses, and I mean, these are like a very me sunglass. They're probably going to replace the Mew Mews. Like, not replace them, but you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be like my number one alternative to the Mew Mews that I love so much. So these are a fade, a gradient one, and let's see which one this one is. These are the gold ones I showed you. I have four of them. So these you saw last week also. Love. There we go. There's the gold. I'm like so excited. Um, these are, okay, so these are the, I think, Fire Opal. So these are magenta, I think, and then they flash... I think a little bit of red. Sometimes I see like an orange shift, but these are very, they're like beautiful for summer. So love those. I believe there are six in total. There's a all black one and I can't remember what the, the sixth one is and why I didn't get it. I really want them to do like an olive green one. Oh my God, that'd be so nice. And these are so beautiful. They're like this lilac-y, like a, li a dark lilac-y purple with like a taupe shift. Are we getting the taupe? Okay, we're only, there we go. I mean, seriously, they're like kind of super 80s, but like, I mean, the shape is very now. I'm like spitting all over. As far as like the colored, one go colored ones go, this might be like my favorite one. I think it's very like complimentary and they're so, you can wear these every day. I mean, I could wear these every day. Okay, so very excited for that. And on the topic of accessories, I picked up these earrings from Forever 21 and I wanted to share them with you since trying to share more, um, trying to just share more in general. Okay, so they are these lion's heads. And that's what they look like, and they're on this like hoop. It's not a full hoop. Oh, the highlight, oh my God. So, Natasha Denona, it's in like a pink palette. It's a face palette. I love this highlight so much. I never did a VIB sale for the most recent, the most recent one. I didn't do one in April for you guys either, like a haul, but I picked that up. I'm very into Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath right now. I'm like, it's so basic and generic. And I mean, obviously, I'm like, I probably passed, uh, passed the initial excitement of both of those brands. But they're just always so expensive. And I'm like, yeah, I can buy it. But do I want to? How cute are these earrings? So uh, I tend to wear earrings that are a hoop because I have an earlobe that is attached. And I have one that's kind of like free, like out there, not attached. So earrings always look different on me. The ones that are like, what do you call them? Like button earrings or stud, like larger studs. So I have to go for earrings to kind of like sit a little away from the earlobe in order for them to look like somewhat symmetrical. So I really love these. I mean, I guess from far away you can't really tell they're a lion's head, but it's like such an awesome look. And this would be, I think, really cute with like a half up, half down look. Yeah, I like it. And the sunglasses, it's like, let's complete the look, right? I don't know I'm very into it all right back to normal earrings I mean I could wear these to work I just I wouldn't want to I always have this like kind of like moving flowy sweater and I want more moving flowy things getting in the way yeah oh 
He needs to get groomed. I think I've already said this many times, but <laughs> he needs to get groomed. He's panting all the time. And like, it's that weird weather right now. We're gonna drive. It's that like weird weather where, <sighs> like if you turn the AC on, it's like too cold, but if you don't turn it on, it's like a little humid and like hard to breathe. So he's very like, he's always panting. So I'm trying to give him water. He loves ice cubes. Uh, ice cubes or crushed ice in his water. He's so like, he's very into that, yeah? 